If you stumble upon this video, you're probably aware of what Retool is. If not, let me introduce you to the future. Hi, my name is Angelique Lavoy Torres. I'm a developer advocate here at Retool, and I'll be guiding you on how to build your first app. What is Retool and the developer loop? To those that don't know what Retool is, it is an app development platform built by developers for developers. Instead of taking months or years to custom build app, Retool allows you to do it in hours. It allows you to abstract the necessary components and gives you the power to code whenever needed. Now, like any development process, you are presented with a blank canvas, literally. So before we get into the development cycle, I want us to learn this framework. First, you're gonna define a resource, then create a query, then examine the data and connect UI to data. Simple? Got it. Okay, so as we go on, it will be easier to remember, but just for now, let's go right in. This is the Retool platform and we blend it directly into our apps. Apps is basically where all of your apps will be kept for your organization. Now, if we direct our attention to the URL, you can see that your name is actually in the directory. And this is because this is now your working space. Now, if we go into the navigational bar, we see apps, we also see resources. And this is for connecting to any data source, in the link integrations, and also APIs. And if we go into database, we have a database built on Postgres SQL that allows you to save and edit data. Next, we have the query library, which allows you to create, share, and run all of your queries inside your org and app. So think of them as function and JavaScript and Python. Then we have workflows, which are automated events with your data, and it can be scheduled or triggered. And then lastly, we have agents, which are LLMs that can make decisions, take action, and also continuously improve. Now, if we go back, we're going to create our first app. And so we'll go over here and create and click on app. Now we've landed directly into our Retool IDE. The first thing that you see is actually the canvas. And this is where you would drag all of your components and build out your app's interface. At the top, you have the nav bar. And this is essentially where you were configure, preview, share, and manage your app. On the left, we have the left panel, which allows you to explore pre-built components, write queries, build pages and have reusable blocks of codes as well as the apps setting. On the other hand, you have the right panel or the inspector, which allows you to create and edit components. And at the bottom, you have the status bar, which is used to select environment, releases, runtime, and debug your app. This is the perfect stopping ground, since in the next video, we're gonna be talking about how to connect to databases. If you want to start building before that, then join our community forum so you can connect with other builders and share out your ideas. Because I, for one, will love to see what you build.